Good morning, everyone. So today is an exciting and busy day. We are harvesting our beehives tonight. So we have a lot to do to prepare. Um, I'm gonna make the kids a quick breakfast really quick, just some oatmeal. And then we're gonna head over to George's parents' house because we have some of our bee equipment and harvesting stuff and some extra hives over there in storage. So we're gonna go organize and bring all of that stuff over here to our house. And we do have somebody coming to help harvest. So we're gonna prepare for them to come and they're gonna be staying the night over here. So yeah, we're excited. It's harvesting day, so we'll bring you along for the journey. I'm making the kids oatmeal for breakfast. So I'm gonna put the oats and some cinnamon, a little sugar and some milk and then I'll sprinkle in some of these currants. They didn't have any raisins at Cyan, so we're just going to use these instead and see how it is. You wanna help me open those? Using the scissors, I think you can just tear it. Do they taste like raisins? Mm, kind of. Kind of? some honey too and it's a good thing we're harvesting today because we're running low. <laughs> You can see the pigs out there just eating their breakfast. Want to eat a bowl of oatmeal? I guess. Oh, man. Hi, kids. How are you? Good. Bagels. I'm going to sit next to bagels. Why? And my breakfast is going to be three tree tomatoes <laughs> and a cup of coffee. <laughs> stuff <laughs> this room is full of random stuff even our little safari toilet if you come on a safari with us you'll have a toilet everywhere you go so we have 10 hives right here and these are the supas. You put them on top of the of the actual hive. Hey, the Christmas tree. 
and then it fills up with honey as well. Aw. Miri Family 2015. That's what we looked like seven years ago. Kido T was a little teeny little nugget baby. And Lucas. Watch out, sis. These are all going to just be moved over to our property so that we can start figuring out where to put them. So we are going to check on the hive that we have back here. This is the very first beehive that we ever uh, set up and it's been going strong for a few years now. Um, it's ready to be harvested too, so the challenge for the day is moving this hive full of bees over to our compound. So George is gonna figure that out with some help. Um, they're gonna have to wait until it's evening time and the bees are inside and less active and then they're going to have to plug it up and then transport it over to our compound. So, mm -hmm. guava. This is guava. Oh. Yeah. We got some that are like close to like. This is good. You want to eat one? You just bite it? No, just bite it. It's a guava. How is it? It's good. Hmm. That's interesting. You never had guava? I think I have. This one's not like as sweet as I remember, that but it's. Nice, but this should be sweet right here. Let me see. Yeah, that one's sweeter. The famous Mira. Yeah. I already I already experienced it once. I don't need to experience it again. <laughs> These bees are aggressive back here. My uh, George's mom, she can't like even cut down her napia grass because she gets stung every time. So that's one of the reasons we want to move it away from here too. Yeah, this is a nice active mature hive so there should be a lot of honey in there so now we are going over to juju's shamba and we're gonna actually put one of these beehives the empty ones um we're gonna place one over there hopefully capture some bees and i think that uh juju is over there working right now in the shamba so we'll go say hi to her place a beehive and then we'll head home and finish preparing other things for harvesting tonight. Kids, get into the van. Get into the van. We're gonna go over to see Juju's farm and then we're gonna put a beehive out there. Okay, get in, get in, get in. Hurry or you're gonna be left behind. We have to bring this stuff. Yeah, you can bring that. And I'm happy that I found this bag that George's mom gave to me. Um, it was in storage and I have to clean it up. I'm going to take it home. But another treasure that we found in storage. Look how cute. That was one of our engagement pictures to announce our engagement. Yeah, you eat them. You just take off that with your teeth. And you eat them. Just bite the center of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let no peel. Yeah. Eat no. everything. No, you, you just, just eat take it. that thing off. 
Well, I'll start with that one. That was a little hey, diaper. Fight it. Just bite into it. That's very good. This is good. Mm -hmm. So good. Go have a straight from the farm. Hold it. Follow daddy. What are you doing? You're going to get a little bit of a drink. You're going to get a little bit of a drink. Look at the juice. Look at the juice. You're going to get a little bit of a drink. You're going to get a little bit of a drink. You're going to get a little bit of a drink. I know we had. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No rain. Yeah. Can I touch that? That's good. That's a bee wax. It helps. It helps attract bees. It also helps bees build honeycombs on a straight line. We have door. They can come in, come out. Where did the bees go in, Leanne? There. The little door. How? Why is it so minty? We sprinkle the ash down here so that ants do not climb and get into the hive because ants will definitely take over. So hopefully bees enter the hive soon and then we can move it over to our farm. Okay, let's go home. We are prepping the room for the person who's coming to help harvest. This is a guest room that we have. It's right here near the gate. The other side is the storage room and a little office space. And then yeah, we're just preparing so that he has a nice place to stay. I'm cleaning. Cleaning. Cleaning the nini. There are some weevils. Oh, weevils. They are called nini wax moth. They attack the nini, the wax. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're cleaning them off uh, with fire. <laughs> yeah, from the fire. These are the weevils. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, those, uh, These are the eggs. Mm. Weevils. Weevils. Wax moth. Wax moth. It's from Togori. His name is Kerimi. Togori. Yeah, he comes from Togori. All the way from Togori to Mbondone. <laughs> help us harvest. Thank you for coming. Santi sana. Yeah.
So Karimi is here from Chagoria. He's helped us harvest a couple times before and he's awesome. And I wanna go find out what time they're planning to actually do the harvesting. Hi, bud. Hi. Liam Motomi. Liam Motomi. Liam Motomi. Liam Motomi. Motomi. Oh, Motomi. B-man. 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 He's the B-man. <laughs> so what time are you guys gonna start harvesting? We'll go to my mom's house by 7.30. Mm. 7.30? Mm. So we might harvest the first and then go grab the other one at my mom's and then bring it and then harvest it. Okay. Because of the time. Because of the time. Okay. So we might harvest here first. So here are the two hives. I'll show you guys again. I know you've seen them before, but there's one that'll be harvested just a few hours. And there's the second one over there. Okay, so something to understand about honey is that most of the honey that you're go going to find in the supermarkets um, is not pure. It will be combined with molasses or other fillers. So you're not getting pure honey. Now, if you want to get your hands on some pure honey straight from the hive, no fillers, nothing added, nothing to dilute it in any way. If you want some of our honey, we are selling it. I know a lot of you have been asking if you can have some of our honey when we harvest and the answer is yes. For a half a kilo, it will be 600 Kenyan shillings and for a full kilo, it will be 1200 Kenyan shillings. And if you want some, contact us on WhatsApp and it's going to be first come first serve. So so don't wait if you really want some message us right away on whatsapp and it'll be first come first serve like i said and last time we harvested it went very very fast so yeah looking forward to hearing from you guys and getting you some delicious pure honey straight from meru you ready for this hmm? <laughs> Am I ready for this? Mm. Smoke makes them docile, right? Yeah, they make them docile. Mm. They cut the communication. Oh. Because they communicate through the smell. Interesting. Yeah. Suiting up.
Ah, you have an iguana. Oh, you're lucky. I still then you want to then the soup and yam by. You want me to bring the soup? You want me to bring it? Yeah. Okay. Bring the soup. One. Put it on top. Put it there. That's good. Yeah, it's full. Yeah, it's full. Come. Tu 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 biar aku ni. Hmm, that's full. We are through. We are through with that one. I do need to fix that flame. The middle one. successful harvest all of the hives were completely full so that's exciting so that means that we have a lot of fresh pure honey to share with you guys um, I just put the kids to bed and they're gonna be out there um, harvesting all those frames of the hives I'm not sure how long they'll be out there I'm guessing another hour and yeah it's been a great day a great successful harvest and thank you so much for watching see you soon